she's understanding you. Okay, well, we should be live again. Yep, it just went. Okay. I'm not getting any immediate frame drop notifications. Although the chat box still seems to not be working. Nope. Chat's still broken. Thank you, Restream. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to abandon Restream's chat box. I'm, need, I'm gonna need to find a new one. In the meantime... What, what is it actually? Is it like chat widget or something? <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, it's a widget. Uh, I have an idea. see window capture twitch chat there are actually extensions built into twitch that you just got to go through their extension list to look it's kind of cool ah uh -huh. There's no way to sort the bottom. I know, I know, it's a temporary solution. Don't freak out. <clears throat> Just so we can get through tonight's stream, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most elegant of solutions, but sometimes brute force and ignorance is what you need. Okay, so I just lost like 10 minutes of grinding time. Sometimes you gotta do it, though. Computer issues, man. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, thank you for your guys' help. Everyone's. Tyler, Kaze, LJ, all of you. I will say, as soon as you're like, thank you for all the help, as soon as you said that, you did that glitchy robot thing again. So... All of the issues might not be completely resolved, but Well, you said a little not... you sound a little glitchy for me too, but it doesn't say I have any dropped frames, so it might just be Discord. Yeah. It, it might just be your internet, because it might be just having issues too. Which it will sometimes, that's just the nature of technology. Uh, yeah, the stream sounds fine, which is what's Tyler, what is wrong with you? You said hi to LJ just a little bit ago. Who is LJ? Well, that, that's, I think that's what I meant. Like, it's just a friend or just a random viewer. Random viewers. Oh, you're, are you asking who he is? Like, he was, if he's a regular or a new guy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's a new guy. And new people are always welcome. See, I, I know I know Tyler like inside and out because him and me are almost exactly the same person. We just obsess over different things. Yeah, today was exciting. Yes. You know how I I uh, said I was I ordered that uh, Vash revolver kit with Christmas money. Mm-hmm. It came a day early. Okay. And I'm so excited to get that thing put together. Oh, you assemble it yourself? Yep, because it th that's the point of it being a kit. He he printed all of the parts on a 3D printer and then cleaned them up a little bit, smoothed them out just a little bit, and then mails it out. I, I, when I heard kit, I just assumed that it came with the complete revolver. 
and uh, material is needed to uh, maintain it, like cleaning supplies? No. There wouldn't be really any maintenance on a, uh, a model anyway, you know? Oh, you're going to follow? Uh, well, I should probably see if my follow notifications are working too, because they weren't the other day. I, I still kind of a little bit miss the phrase the sub. Um, well, subscribers are a thing on Twitch. I just can't have them without yeah. being an affiliate. Which, I'm assuming you're still getting closer and closer now. Actually, my average viewers have been dropping lately. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. But I got three viewers now. For a while, I had four and five. I'm sure it'll go back. Once we get to Dark Souls 3, it's gonna jump, like, go up, I guarantee you. I'm expecting Delta Rune to be what shoots my average viewers to the roof. Oh, that... Is that gonna be pretty soon? It's gonna be after Dragon Quest. I'm excited, because I, I haven't gotten to see all of it yet. I, I know what happens in it, I just didn't see all of it. I know very little about it. It's gonna be almost completely blind for me. That's gonna be cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the first like overworld music is so fucking good. Like t Toby is an amazing musician. Did uh Tyler tell you that Toby Fox got hired to um do something for a Japanese commercial? No, I think... but I did see something. Um, ridiculous earlier. It was a Japanese uh, wrestling, you know, their version of the WWE. Mm -hmm. One of the dudes' entrance music and, like, video was Undertale themed. <laughs> yeah, that may have been it. Yeah. Because he, um, he came out to... Uh, I, f I forget what it... The, the, the really upbeat part of the fight again uh Azrael to that song it's like the most ridiculous thing okay so yeah <laughs> it's so it was so ridiculous but it it was cool the, d the dude's name oh what was his name it was like something omega but cuz it's japanese wrestling they pronounced it omega which I was like, mm. That doesn't make any sense. They have a mass sound. Because, it, it, you know, it's English. They're not 100% sure. On, well, actually, it's Greek, technically. Omega but, is yeah. Greek, and they're perfectly capable of saying Omega. Yeah, but I imagine if they just read it out, like, sight-read English characters, maybe. Eh, maybe. Say English, Roman, Roman, Roman characters. There was something I wanted to tell you, and I can't remember what it is now. All I've been working on, really, apart from the Dark Souls 3 thumbnail art, is penultimate fiction. I, uh, I've been having a bad habit of staying up to like 6 or 7 in the morning working on it the past few days. Well, at least you're getting excited about it again. Yeah, last night I wrote up, um, rules for size modifiers. <laughs> the most interesting rules to talk about. Well, it's mainly for enemy creation. Yeah. Basically... I, I didn't mean that as an asshole. I was just... <laughs> well, they need to get written up. Uh, yeah. It's important. Necessary. Yeah, basically, the bigger you are, 
the lower your you take a bigger penalty to the move silently skill and a bigger penalty to evasion but you get bonuses to strength and vitality whereas it's the opposite if you're smaller you get bonuses to move silently if you're smaller And I'm assuming negatives to vitality or what? Uh, negatives to strength and vitality, yes. Okay. And bonuses to evasion. Now I forget, what are the starting classes going to be? Just the base ones from the first Final Fantasy? Minus Monk. Okay. When do you suppose we'll be able to add more after a while of testing? Uh, I can add more classes whenever I want. It's just, uh, I'd rather, you know, know for certain that the way I've designed the five classes I have now is the proper way to do it before adding yeah. more. Make sure it's actually going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Do you have a, like a, a list of what you want to add first, or are you just going to kind of wing it once you start doing it? I'm mostly just going to kind of wing it, depending on which classes I feel are going to be easier or more interesting to design. Okay. Yeah, Blue Mage is probably going to be one of those early ones. Because <laughs> it's going to be hard, but it's going to be interesting. Blue Mage needs to get done pretty soon because it's got an entire school of magic all to itself that I haven't touched. Yeah. Same for Summoner. Alright, 400 XP to go. Did I tell you about the perfectly OCD experience system that I came up with? Gaze? Gaze? Gaze, where'd you go? Hello? Uh, okay, not sure where Kaze went. No, I can't tell you at all. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, that was weird. I have no idea what happened. Just Discord being Discord. Discord, as if Discord from My Little Pony ran. You know, I used to make um, parallels, but not not necessarily parallels, but I would be reminded of the Discord from MLP every time I heard about the Discord program. Yeah. But after <laughs> using Discord for so long, I no longer compared the two. It no longer reminded me of him. When did we actually switch to Discord? Because I know it wasn't actually that long ago. Uh, I think we switched to Discord because Keith had a group. It was when we were going to start... It was when we started playing um, in his D&D campaign. Yeah. Yeah, that's when I... That's when I made the switch. And then... Shortly into you starting to actually do live streaming instead of just pre record is when we actually made your server, right? I think so. I don't know how long 
How long have I had my Discord? Is there a place I can check the date? I think there might actually be. Well, I can probably just... Oh no, that's not gonna work. Huh. Okay, well, I've had it at least since July. Definitely longer than that. At least since May, because that's when you started live streaming. That doesn't mean I had my own Discord at the time. You're, you're just... Oh, you're asking about the age of your Discord server. Yes. Oh, okay, I thought you meant just your account. No, no, no. Because, like, like, like I said... No, I have no like I said, I've had that account since we were playing Keith's D&D campaign, which was since at least December. Last December. The previous December from the December that just passed. Yeah. Can't believe it's 2019. Uh, the first post in announcements is 528. So, May. Yep. No. Okay. Yeah, it's the real short after you started streaming, actually. Have I really had my Discord channel for this long? Apparently. Past couple months have gone by really fast. <clears throat> anyway, so, like I was asking before, um, I stopped being able to hear you suddenly. Did I tell you about the experience system I came up with? No. It's very, very simple. The amount of experience required for you to level up is your current level times two. Oh, uh, you told me I, about that system. I thought you might have updated it since then. Okay. No, like it's your current level times two. Uh, which means that if you're supposed to level up every other encounter, appropriate experience for you per encounter is just equal to your level. And the easiest way to figure out how much experience you should have for your current level is to just multiply your current level by the previous level. Yeah, if you want to figure out how much experience you need to reach the next level, which I just did in Dragon Quest, all you gotta do is multiply your current level by the next. Huh. Response speed by 8, HP by 8, and magic by 5, and a new spell. Is that... Heal more. I finally learned heal more. Heal more. Well, at least it's to the point, I suppose. I noticed it didn't boost my attack at all. That's kind of annoying. I don't know if you know either of these songs well enough. But I found out something today while just listening to random songs on iTunes. Despacito has the same chord progression as Zombie by the Cranberries. Is that how it's pronounced? The song? Yeah. I... I... I've been saying Despacito. That, you see, I was saying something very similar to that until I actually heard it said out loud. I was, I was saying like Despacho, which just made it sound like a Slavic food. I was thinking Italian, Despacito. And, uh, Despacito. And despite all the memeing, it's at least got kind of an addictive melody, I'll give it that. But yeah, it has this, it, for some reason, has the same chord progression as Zombie. Which is weird to be listening to a, a protest about terrorist bombing song. And in my head, I'm just like, Despacito. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. Don't ruin this song for me, memes. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Despacito. 
Well, it's still not as big a mystery as the whole, you know, dot .hack Final Fantasy 3 thing. Why don't I... I only vaguely remember what you're talking about. With There's a song... Oh! In... Fake Wings, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I remember now. Because you, 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 like, pointed it out, and I listened to it, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> that... That's just fake wings. Yeah, yeah they're the same yeah, song. And nobody really weird. nobody's talking about it. Nobody has an explanation for it. No one's even questioning it. Which is weird. Cause it definitely sounds like Dot Hack just straight lifted it from Final Fantasy. Like, yeah, we're gonna borrow this. It could just be that they're both based on some classical music piece that we're not familiar with. I, I've told you about how some weird songs share chord progressions with each other also, like before, haven't I? I don't know if you've ever explicitly discussed it, no. Because there, there was a very popular chord progression used in the 50s. For a while it was called the 50s changes. Some people also call it the ice cream changes. Because it's a very sweet and upbeat series of chord progressions. And it's used from everything like well, most of what came out in the 50s, actually. Um, I think it might also be used... Like, it, it's a, a similar chord progression used in some classical music. I can't think of any of the other names right now, because I haven't watched a video explaining it in a long time. But there are two songs on that use that progression that do not sound like they should go with each other, but because they're in the same signature like that, you can sing the lyrics to one over the other and it works. And that would be Baby by Justin Bieber and Psychosocial by Slipknot. <sighs> Which is the strangest combination. Uh, I'm not terribly familiar with either song. I would just, like... Like, just think of your 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 random pop song in the late 2000s and then scream over it. That's what it is. Someone actually remixed. They took the vocal track from Psychosocial and put it over Baby and put it on YouTube. And Corey Taylor from Slipknot fucking... <laughs> and his son heard him listening to the remix. And he's like, did, did you collaborate with Justin Bieber? When did you collaborate with Justin Bieber? So, was so confused. I, I will, I will send you the remix later. Like I'll send you the two individual songs and then the remix. Okay. Well, er it's... Hmm? Earlier, when you said take any random pop song from the early two thousands and scream over it, first song that came to my mind was a scream version of Larger Than Life. Oh, I've done that. I, I. With some people on Smule, I've actually done, like, harsh metal vocals over larger than life. And that, and that actually kind of works. That song is still really good. Hmm. It's, it's really good hey, still. Do you watch um a guy named Jonathan Young on YouTube? Oh, yes. I adore his music. He does so many covers. I found him because he did some stuff with uh, Caleb Hiles, and those two dudes are yeah, I, incredible. I started watching him because he did a few covers of uh, Disney villain songs. He does those really well. Plus the villain song from Anastasia, which is amazing. I don't... I, I've never heard that one because I've never actually seen Anastasia. You don't need to see Anastasia. It's a great song. Then the song is the whole reason I watched Anastasia in the first place. A good song if it gets you to watch a movie. Yeah, just go listen to it. Don't watch the scenes that accompany it. Just listen to the song. Okay. I mean, both me and Doug Walker agree that's the best way to enjoy the song. Is to not have visuals. Is Anastasia not a great movie? 
It's a great movie. It's fantastic. It's just its villain could have used a lot of work, and so could his minions. Basically, the villain of the movie is Rasputin. And he is a sorcerer who, um... Basically, he got fired for being a disgusting necromancer by the Russian royals. So he took his revenge and attempted to kill them all. And in exchange for all of the power that he was granted by, I don't know, hell, in order to get his revenge, um, he was thrown into a purgatory. Then one day he finds out that one member of the royal family is still alive. Well, a couple, but he appears to only care about the one. There's some plot holes. Um, <laughs> and that makes him decide to um, start like waking up and recharging his powers or whatever so that he can complete his revenge. But most of the movie isn't even about him. If they took him out of the movie, it would be the same movie. Huh. Dingo Pictures version of Anastasia? I don't... I didn't know there was more than one version. Well, there's... I think another one of those stories that was just... Uh just a folk story so yeah but the plot of anastasia is um anastasia is a russian princess who was separated from her family when rasputin attacked and she doesn't remember her early childhood but she was raised in captivity or not not, not in captivity but in an orphanage which is basically the same thing in old russia <coughs> anyway so uh there is a reward, like, continent-wide by um, Anastasia's mother to anyone who can reunite her with her long-lost daughter. And there's these guys, a couple of guys, who are interviewing people and trying to find an actress to pretend to be Anastasia so that they can, you know, get the reward money. Because they're just kind of scumbags like that, at least in the beginning of the film. And who should show up for said audition but the real Anastasia who doesn't know she's the real Anastasia. And she's taught to pretend to be the very person she is. <laughs> be yourself. Uh, the, depending on how you describe that, it could be a heartwarming story of how like some people taught a girl just to be herself. That's a hilarious achievement, actually. I love that. I'm I'm playing Spyro. You remember the uh, the popcorn ice thing you have to do versus yeah. Hunter? If you steal one from him, you get an achievement called Ganked. Yeah, I got that. We 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 got that during the stream. I still have to go catch up on the actual streams of that, because half the time you do them, I'm like dead tired and I just fall the hell asleep. I think they made this segment a lot easier. They did. Because I remember having a lot of trouble doing this when I played along with Spyro 2 when you guys first did it. Thanks, Hunter. Oh. Dingo pictures of the guys who made Dalmatians 3. And, I, and I'm assuming the rest of the animations used by Phoenix Games. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that the clips and the lines from those films aren't, like, memes. It's, it's 
it's so impossible to actually predict what will mean and what won't. Because the stupidest shit does. So it seems like lately more and more addresses are being added to China Walk's Do Not Deliver list. For what reason? Uh, well, apparently last night one of our drivers almost got robbed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so we most of the places on our list of Do Not Deliver places are like places that are either super inconvenient for our drivers, like, um, Willow Village, if you remember where that is. Kind of, yeah. <clears throat> and places that are just really bad neighborhoods. Places where shootings happen. Really dark roads, stuff like that. Yeah. And the boss doesn't really like having so many do-not-deliver locations, but we're not a big company. We're an independently-owned business. So we can't really have a driver's death on our hands. Yeah, that would be real bad. I don't, I don't think his insurance is going to exactly cover that. <laughs> I think I knew that about Dingo Pictures, Tyler, because a lot of its characters are recurring. But, uh... They don't really... I mean... The characters recur, but their relationships with one another don't, necessarily. It's kind of like how the Zelda characters work. We're just going to take all these Zelda characters, put them in a new world, and none of them are going to know each other anymore. Despite the fact that they're all reincarnations of each other. Are there any other series that do that? Series that use the same characters over and over, but they constantly meet each other for the first time in each new iteration? I can't think of any. I think Zelda is the only series that does that. Well, as far as video games, I mean, I think Looney Tunes does it. Because how many times has Yosemite Sam introduced himself to Bugs Bunny? And that's something that I'm sure a lot of people didn't even question when they saw those cartoons. I mean, I didn't until now. It's like, you see a cartoon where Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny duke it out or whatever, have a battle of wits. And then you see another one where it's the two of them again, but Sam doesn't recognize Bugs at all. Or vice versa. It's like, how do you not recognize him? He blew you up like three times in the last cartoon. But I don't think anyone questioned it. They think they just kind of immediately understood it. Dead Rising does that? I don't know anything about Dead Rising, so... I'm sure Kaze does. A little. Um. I 
mean, do they really do that? I mean, I, I guess because they've... Dead Rising is weird because 1, 2, and 3 are in one canon, and then 4 was a reboot of 1. Not one that anyone uh, liked at all. <laughs> like four was terrible. Like they they programmed the weapon so badly that you could literally break an entire storefront window with a squirt gun. Does Sonic ever do it? I could swear I there's... Can't, I can't think of ever one time where Sonic has actually introduced himself to Eggman. He's just always been an enemy. Well, yeah, there's that, but have there, has there ever been a Sonic character that was introduced more than once? I mean, like, take Rouge the Bat, for example. She was introduced in Sonic Adventure 2. And I'm assuming in every game after that, any game that Rouge appears in, everyone already knows her. Right? I think. Does Sonic just have a continuous canon? So what, all of the games are in chronological order of release date? I mean, it must be. Like, it absolutely ha Like, everything literally is in chronological order, because when characters are introduced, in the next game, everyone acts like they know them. They're not reintroduced. Hmm. But you gotta wonder how that place keeps rebuilding, because Eggman basically wrecks the place every single game. I mean, look at Sonic Forces, he literally took over the world. I don't really know much about Forces. Yeah, it's, um... It's got, it's got a make-your-own-Sonic OC. No, I know, I know about that. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know much about the story. Sonic Mania, either. I actually don't know anything about Mania. I uh, think I have it, but I don't know anything about it. All I know about Sonic Mania is that it's made in the same 16-bit style as the old games, and there's a whole bunch of anime cutscenes in it. Really? Yes, drawn in the old style like Sonic the movie was drawn in. I mean, I, ha I think I have the game. Might as well just play it. Sonic. It can't be that bad. It's not like it's going to be 06. And apparently, Sonic Mania is the prequel to Sonic Forces. Don't really know how that works. <laughs> oh god what, but where does that play sonic boom actually because they were redesigned physically so is sonic boom canon or is it like an alternate canon sonic boom might be one of the few games that's in a separate canon yeah because sonic the movie was definitely in a separate canon from the games Goodness knows, we've never seen Princess Sarah since. Man, I, th I think the uh, Icy Speedway is easily the easiest one. I, sc I fucked up constantly and still did it with an extra 10 seconds.
Hey Tyler, you know, do you just want to join the call? Yeah, I mean, you might as well. You're sure typing a lot. I mean, the only reason I'm talking to Kaze right now is because all I'm doing is level grinding. This would be ridiculously boring otherwise. Okay, let me add you. Hunter, I'm gonna throw you down a cliff. I forgot no, how hard this one is. As for the whole Sonic Mania being a prequel thing, it, it it's a prequel because of the fact can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry, my uh I had the vo volume set so it was echoing. Um yeah, uh, the Sonic is thrust into the future, uh, uh, like around some point in the game, and that's the Sonic that you, that the mod, the classic Sonic that you play with in Sonic Forces. So, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. So that means it's possible that Sonic Forces happens before Sonic 06. No, not Sonic 06. Sonic Generations. It's very possible. Well, no, because in Forces, uh, Tails recognizes alternate Sonic. Well, I mean, he should because, you know, he was with him. I mean, they're the same person. <laughs> I mean... Well, no, because he, he's like, oh, you're that other universe Sonic. So he recognizes him from generations. It still doesn't make much sense. They should recognize themselves. <laughs> like, they should. Well, cause... they do. I mean, even in generations, he confused the two at first. Yeah. He he knows he knows him well enough to know it's you know a Sonic just not his Sonic. Yeah, but but it is his Sonic. I mean, ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Time travel and all that, because <laughs> it is the same person, just chubbier and younger. And can't talk. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> and like Tails is more orange for some reason in the past. Yeah, but because I asked for Monster Hunter, I can't make any more progress now until I finish every optional quest. Damn. Yeah, because you unlock the ability to make the strongest weapons in the game for doing all the optional quests. So I have to go do them all. Okay. Uh, yep. I could hop on here in a minute once I finish this stupid ring thing for Hunter. There's not really much help you can give me at the moment. I mean, you could help me get up to where you're at, and then I could help more. Well, I mean, I've already done most of the quests. I've only got like ten, uh, like five or six left. Oh, wow. Okay. So, but uh, you could definitely come in though. I still want to play with you regardless. But no, uh, God, what level are you at now? Uh, like 18, Peach? 17 and I'm about 400 away from 18. I'm gonna swap over to Monster Hunter real quick. I'm gonna mute my you, mic while I do so. You don't have to. Don't want to. I do because this is pissing me off because I keep failing at 43 rings <laughs> out of 50. Oh. So, so I'm, I'm done. I'm done if you want to. Well, we might actually be able to finish Dragon Quest here in a reasonable time. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to finish it tonight. Oh, no, not tonight. But, you know. Yeah, because right now my plan is to just reach level 20. And then my goal for next week's stream is just going to be beating the final dungeon twice. In order to show both endings. Which, depending on how 
The RNG goes with the final boss. Both could take a while. And then you can launch this game to where it deserves, in the sun. <laughs> this game is awful. Mm-hmm. The remakes are better, though. Slightly. The remakes are better just mainly because they sped up leveling. Yeah. That's all they did. Well, no, I mean, it also looks a lot prettier, which helps overall. Okay, they made the graphics and sound better, sure. But mechanically... That, 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 can, that can make a big difference in games, though. You know, giving you something better to look at for the hours you spend grinding. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I just didn't want to undermine its importance. But yeah. Um, the speed up leveling helps astronomically more. I can think of a few things that would have made it even better. Yeah. Maybe some actual buffing spells? Well, I mean, they may have changed something around there. I mean, you don't know. I haven't played them, have you? Not for long, no. Yeah, so it might have been something. I wanted to play the mobile version of Dragon Quest 1, since that's the latest one. It's got the best graphics. But, uh, I couldn't get it to run properly on Bluestacks. Like, none of my controls would work. Not my controller, and not the keyboard, nothing. We could just use the mouse, probably, to emulate touch controls. Did you try that? Yes, I did, and it felt icky. I mean, it's an RPG. What do you, you don't need it to feel very good. I mean, just click. Well, it'd be one thing if I could click on a spot on the map to walk to, like you can in, you know, RPG Maker MV games. To maybe try and turn that mode on? That wasn't an option. Instead, okay. there was just an overlay with, like, directional buttons and stuff. Yeah, because for all you know, it might not even have, like, uh, controller support. But who knows? I don't really know. Oh, it's got... You get your, it's your phone next to your microphone. Yeah. Okay, um, it does have, it did react somewhat to the keyboard, it's just I would have to really mash the arrow keys and hold in certain keys in the same direction just to get the character to move one space, and it was never consistent. I don't know what was going on. Maybe lag, who knows. Anyway, power by 13, there we go. Speed by 6, HP by 13, that puts me over 100 hit points. MP by 7, oh uh, yeah. How much does heal more cost? 10, 10 MP. Ooh, I two-shot Demon Knights now. Okay, so... When did you say, um... The amount needed to level increases? From this point? Is it still 3,000? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I know it goes up to 4,000 at some point. It might be like 20 and up. Because the highest it gets to, I believe, is 6,000. So there's like two more incremental boosts. Um, but I might be wrong about that. I don't know for sure. Most of the information on this game is only from the remake remakes of the game, which may have been inconsistent from the original. You got that information from a remake? So they didn't actually uh, change the amount of experience you need, just the amount of experience enemies give? Unless they didn't change that either. Who knows? Maybe it is the same speed to level. I mean, we're assuming it was sped up, but that might not be the case. Have any of us actually played a, a remake? No, but I... 
I mean, yeah, the assumption that they sped up the leveling is a given considering that it's the worst part of the game. But people might like that, which is maybe why they keep it. Then why do people say the remakes are better? Because they look better and sound better. Probably. Because uh... that is something, because, you know, so the remake of Spyro is better, and it just looks better and sound better. That's all it is. Right? There's, at best, minor gameplay improvements. Yeah, not really that much. <laughs> but we don't know for sure if it's been increased or not. I was assuming it was, and you said like you, know, like you knew what, what you're talking about. We'll know when you play it, at least. <laughs> Well, since I can't get it to run properly on BlueStacks, I'm going to have to find a different version to play. I think the only other option is the Game Boy Color version. There's also a SNES version, but Game Boy Color is more recent. Um, apparently Dragon Quest 1, like, was, was also on the PS4, apparently. Like on the PSN? Yeah. So just look on PSN, it might be the mobile phone version, whatever, it might work. That, that would solve your problem, right? <laughs> no. Anyway. Uh... Oh, that's right. I'm level 18 now. I need to switch grinding methods. Where do you gotta switch to? I need to go, um, you know the spot where I got the, um, Erdrix armor in Hawksness? Well, yeah, there's also Metal Slime grinding, which I haven't seen you been doing yet. Uh, Metal Slime is a not a good source of experience by this point. No? No. They give 100 experience, but they're really rare, they're hard to kill, most of the time they run away. And a hundred isn't really worth it when you can just kill four enemies for the same amount. They're not. They're a good method if they spawn right and don't run away, but well, they're not reliable. Okay. I mean, would it be quicker if you could kill battle slimes in two hits? Um. I suppose if I could kill them at all, it would be faster. But the area that I was in is the area they appeared. I ran into quite a few of them. Well, south of Hawkness by the bridge? That's where I was. Okay. It says you can also get them... Let's see, where else? Uh, like around the mountains, the same areas. They are also found there. Hmm. Okay. But it's all, it all must be just near Hawkness in general. Let's see. So you can also find Axe Knights, which are apparently worth good experience as well. That's what I'm going to do right now. You go into so Hawksness. You, you go into Hawksness. You head down here. Well, let me just kill all the enemies on the way. But in the spot where you find Erdrick's armor, there's a fixed battle with an Axe Man who protects it, guards it. You can just encounter him repeatedly over and over. It's very fast, and by this level, I should be able to handle him just fine. Oh, I also learned about a glitch that's in Final Fantasy III, by the way. It's pretty interesting, if you want to know about it. Okay. Um, if you use a potion, talk to water. Yes, that, that's actually a thing. And uh, talk to NPCs. It actually postpones random encounters. So, if you just, like... Walk a step, use a potion, walk a step, use a potion, and just keep doing that. You'll never run into random encounters. You can also just use the heal spell on yourself at full health, and that also postpones random encounters. Which versions does that, does that work in? NES only. NES only? Yep. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It sounds fascinating. I mean, it is very fascinating. The actual speed run that does the game in about two and a half hours is specifically laid out with exact step counts directions and like you know to actually stop yourself from ever getting a random encounter and if you ever like missed up even once it's like impossible to get back on track 
It's like a two hour like endurance test of just, you must know exactly where you're stepping, exactly where you're going at all times. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, well this is the spot right here. See these trees? Yeah. Yeah, you step on them and you run into an X knight. <laughs> I also learned about uh, um, underflowing the main character's level in Final Fantasy III as well, which involves like uh, killing your first party member and doing some weird shenanigans. It, it makes your main character's level equivalent to H3, is what it's called in the game's code. And it just gives you massive fucking, massive fucking uh, power and strength. Dude, this thing gives over 50 experience per kill. Yeah, and you can farm it pretty much immediately. Yeah, you just keep, you just keep interacting with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can get like 200 experience per minute this way. It's not even per minute. I mean, you're killing it in like, Ten seconds. Well, I also had to, so, I also have to account taking breaks to heal before fighting it again. Well, again, if you're getting over a hundred per minute, like you'll get to max level in no time at all. I mean, it'll be like a couple hours, probably. GameCube facts on Twitter: the Nintendo GameCube does not have a lizard inside of it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Six star quests. What do I need to do? Hard to swallow. Googly eyed green monster. A hair raising experience. A sleeping sphinx. Well, yes, a hard to swallow googly eyed green monster would be a hair raising experience, in fact. <laughs> okay, keep your hands to yourself. Crown of Mud and Anger, Bouquet Bouquet Ambush, Up to Your Waist and Waste, Brown Desert Green Queen, Trespassing Troublemaker, Say Cheese, Loop the Palumu, Tingling Taste. I'm already, I'm already just now noticing that some of these enemies aren't just palette swaps. Yeah? Uh, this one's horizontally flipped from the regular knight. Okay. Interesting enough. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm trying to get to the rank to do the Assassin's Creed thing. That's only f lasting a few more days. Yeah. Tyler. Uh, I'll help you in a second. Just wait. Because um, I need to do high rank stuff. Uh. It's called, it's called in, yeah, for help. Go to, okay. Oh shit. Is that really all I have to do? Okay. What? I need to capture a bunch of creatures in the beginning of high rank. Uh, so I need to get you to high rank so we can start capturing monsters. Well, I'm in high rank. Oh, good. What are we? What are, what are you currently working on? Uh, the Pink Rathian quest to discover it. What does that involve? It's been so long. Finding traces of it during high rank uh, quests. Well, isn't it faster just to, you know, f complete quests in general? Doesn't that raise it faster? It has to be high rank. It has to be high rank quests. Okay. Yeah. Which I have some. I, I have a bunch of kill quests. Though well, doing your captures, if I'm the right hunter rank, would also give them. That would. Uh, Puke Puke. Do you have one for Puke Puke? Let me. I forgot the save last time I played and didn't have my Zora helmet anymore, so I had to remake it real quick. Let me go check. Yeah, because I need to capture Puke Puke and pretty much every other creature. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, I have Puke Puke, Puke, Puke Rathian, uh, Baroth, Ceratados, uh... Why do I have two Hunter Rathian quests? Sometimes they do that. They're even in the same area. One's, uh... Oh no, they're in different areas, that's why. Okay. Okay, did you want to say something, uh, BJ? Uh, yeah. Um, Gazi. Yes. I asked Tyler this the other day. I want to ask you now, too. 
Uh, what sorts of things um, would you like to see in a Final Fantasy styled campaign? Like in Penultimate Fiction or in another? Uh, well, Penultimate Fiction specifically, yes. I'd like I'd like us to do something in a setting that's closer to 7 or 8 than it is to like 1 or 9 or 6, you know. So a diesel punk kind of setting. Yeah. Cuz I I I really am getting to the point where I'm just kind of done with high fantasy. You know. Um would you say that the Soulsborne series is high fantasy? No, that it's just high. It's. I think the term actually is just low fantasy, because yeah. it's an it, and it's it's high fantasy is typically upbeat. Dark Souls is very dreary and depressing. Isn't that just That's, called dark fantasy? Yeah. So yeah. It's, well, it, is, it? is it? Dark fantasy is part of that. Yeah. So, like, Dark Fantasy, I'm still kind of okay with, because it's different enough. It's not just, happy and cheery, we're going to save the world. No, it's... Shit kind of sucks. Yeah, it's not, it's not like Monster Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mon Monster Hunter isn't even high fantasy either. It's, uh... Well, it's kind of like... It's another kind of punk thing, but... I, how would you describe Monster Hunter? Because it it's fantasy, surely. It, it might just be general fantasy. Well, I, but it, it, but it takes a lot of inspiration to, like, all kinds of different types of fantasy. Yeah, because there's no magic, like, so it can't be high fantasy or even low fantasy. No. It's, it's like, what do you even call it? Um, it was, wait, wasn't there, like, a term for it? Like, I think PJ brought it up before. Like, uh, like fantasy with technological elements. Sci uh, fantasy? Sci fantasy, yeah. I guess a little. Because, yeah, because yeah, the bow guns are completely fantasy. Like, there's... You know, it's technology that's driven by fantastical elements. So yeah, sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, sci-fi. Certainly not sci-fi. If they brought in the anti-dragon weapons, it would be sci-fi. Yes, be sci -fi. yes. That would no, be sweet. I I like the setting for Monster Hunter in general. I think that it it works as a good uh, offset to general low uh, low and high fantasy. <laughs> Although I do like some high fantasy things though. Still, as much as I always have, like the Lord of the Rings setting, I'm still quite fond of. Uh, would you say, I like research. <laughs> as silly as some parts of it are, would you say that medieval is also dark fantasy? I would say yes. Uh, I think that uh, it isn't. It, it it's kind of silly in the way it does some of its things and like some of its humor. But I think overall, it still retains a lot of that like dark and dreariness that is kind of like uh, identifiable to dark fantasy. I mean, just looking at the main villain's design, I think kind of shows you, you know, yeah, there's still some elements from Dark Fantasy in here, you know? I think. It's sort of sort of like how, you know, I would still say Labyrinth is like Dark Fantasy, even though it is kind of a little bit silly, you know? I don't know what you'd say about that, though. I would, well, uh, maybe. Because Dark Fantasy, I, I looked up definitions. Stories that focus on elements usually found in a horror genre, but which take place in a setting more like sword and sword and sorcery or high fantasy. Yeah. So yes. Horror genre. I don't really get that vibe from Labyrinth. No, I guess Labyrinth would be closer. What would you call the sort of like Alice in Wonderland type story settings? Is that a separate genre in all entirely? Like another world stories or something. There's a word for it in Japan, like stuff, like when someone goes to another world to experience something. What's that genre called? Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? No. There's a, there's a name for it in Japan. Because Sword Art Online does it, Dot Hack does it, uh, Overlord. Like you could name hundreds of fucking series that do that. Like Yu Yu Hakusho to an extent. Uh, Dragon Ball Z in, in the beginning when they go to the over after you know the other world or whatever, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, you can actually put a lot of things to that. Oh, and he, the actual definition for high fantasy, just so we have it straight, uh, the term high fantasy, also epic fantasy, generally refers to fantasy that depicts an epic struggle struggle between good and evil in a fantasy world. 
whether independent or parallel to ours. The moral concepts in such tales take an objective status and are not, let's see, not relative to the one making the judgment. So yeah, D&D. &D. Yeah, D&D &D is. There's also just weird fantasy. But wait, 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 wait. Does that mean that the only thing that really, sep like that really de the thing that really defines high fantasy is that there is objectively bad and good? There's objectively bad and good, and it's not a struggle against small thing. It, it is an epic struggle, like, for the fate of the world, basically. Well, that actually helps a lot, because, yeah, that, that cuts out it. Yeah, that means most, I would say the majority of Final Fantasy then isn't, you know, epic fantasy, or, like, high fantasy at all. That's pretty fascinating, actually. Because most of Final Fantasy deals with, like, you know, combating other things, and the only other thing is that there isn't, like, an objectively good or bad. You know? It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. I don't know what you're talking about. There are plenty of villains and monsters in the series that are just pure evil. Yes, but I think there's a majority more that aren't just pure evil. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, by that logic, even Dark Souls isn't really a high fantasy. Oh no, we already discussed it as well, dark yeah, fantasy. Yeah. That. yeah, that's yeah. dark. That's absolutely dark fantasy. You're right, yeah. Yeah, D&D &D is like the poster child of high fantasy. What, like our campaign in Pathfinder right now isn't, technically. No. Because it's not an epic struggle against, you know, for the whole world. It's just there's some weird shit going down. Oh, uh, I'm in your, I think I'm in your thing now. Yeah, whatever, oh, okay. So. Let's just go fight the Pukay Pukay already. Or whatever you want to do. Okay. Uh, I have it posted. Googly eyed green monster. <laughs> Googly eyed green monster. Yes, we have to capture this creature. So. Do we? It's just yes, a hunt. For, for me. Because you have to capture a certain certain creatures to have them available for the high ranked arena quests. Oh. Okay. So I need to capture all of these creatures. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. I'll I'll see if I I, I know I don't have any trank bombs, but I do have uh, some traps, so I can bring those. Yeah. We'll work it out. Googly eye green monster. Yeah. Uh, my hunter rank is now unlocked, by the way. So I'm now hunter rank 62, I believe. Nice. Mm hmm. And in order to unlock the last optional quest, I have to get the hunter rank 100. I two shot green dragons now. Damn, dude. Fuck you, green dragon. Stab. I don't know if you can help me get the hunter rank 100. <laughs> Once I'm unlocked, I probably can. Yeah, to unlock your but hunter now, rank. Whoop. Everything you do now gives you experience towards your hunter rank, I think. Right, yes, everything I do. So. And I can solo every creature in the game now, so. Even like yeah. Xeno Jiva and like. Xeno Jiva is one of the easiest bosses in the game. Devil Show? Uh, oh, he's kind of tough. I'll say he's kind of tough. The hardest time I have with is like Ergon, uh, is tough for me. Um, so is uh, La Visioth. Just because he's fucking annoying. That's surprising, because it's just, it's a Plestioth in the hot. Yeah, but he's annoying because he's resistant to a lot of my attacks. Is he still hip checks for days? No, not really. Oh. He's just kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, do you have anything to say, Peach? Um. Not necessarily. Okay. I mean, right now I've kind of got a one track penultimate fiction in mind. Oh, I understand. Just. I, I, going back to penultimate fiction, then, yeah, I, I, I'd like to see more like technological diesel punk kind of stuff because that that is one of my like favorite settings. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, I was going through the list of skills, uh, and uh, I wanted you guys' opinions on something. Okay. Um, I had a skill in there for foraging, and I'm like, okay. Foraging. When would I put points into that? 
and why? I don't. I don't really think that's necessary, to be honest. Because I mean, it, that's a strictly a role playing thing, and I don't know if it's really Final Fantasy enough to work. Especially since I'm already going to say that most Final Fantasy protagonists don't really need to eat, sleep, or drink all that much. Well, and, and the thing They're is, the thing, doing so. right? And the thing is, is that I mean. Why bother making a skill that's going to barely come up and a skill that you could just use other skills to do? You know? Yeah, so I replaced it with investigation. That works. Just, okay. just looking around the immediate vicinity for things. So, 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 so JoJo sense. Got it. <laughs> what? It's just going to throw me, Tyler. We're just going to throw you to the side. The, the thing, the, the, the ability for JoJo characters to just be able to find things in their environment and work out these elaborate solutions to them is just something called the JoJo sense. And like every Joe star just happens to have it. It's crazy. The amount of crazy shit they can come up with in like a matter of seconds. So they're all MacGyver. Basically, yes. Japanese well, MacGyver. Yeah, actually, I should say it's not just Joe stars. It's anyone that the story is focusing on at the time <laughs> will have that ability. Even if they have no reason to have it, like even if they're just like an idiot otherwise, they'll just for some reason come up with like the most brilliant fucking ideas. Except for what the fuck's his name? The dude with like the erasing things with his hand powers. Like he's his joke is that he's stupid, so like he can never be allowed to do that. <laughs> Cause his joke is that he's stupid. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. But did I ever tell you about him? For his his stand power is the hand, okay? And the hand can he can move it through an object and it will erase from existence okay then no limit you can just do that <laughs> um and the only reason that he's allowed to be in the story and isn't written out immediately is because he's so stupid he doesn't know how to use it properly <laughs> so <laughs> i mean literally he's just got to get his hands on like the joe stars and they're gone right yeah but he just doesn't Luckily, he's also in a series that doesn't involve the Joe Stars, so. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was lucky. The first hit I did set off an explosion and another one. That's me. Elementals up today. That's me. Oh, is it? It's me, yeah, because I have explosion. You have blast also. Yes. Oh. So it's probably both of us, actually. It's probably both yeah, because yeah, because I have um. I almost said Mandragora. No, what the fuck's his name? Uh, the, the flagship. Yeah. The, that uh, asshole. Ma Maga Zagaros. <laughs> like, I, I almost want to say Kushala de Aura, but the, no, it's not that either. Um, yep. Gora, Kagora, Sakura, Logora. Kora? Oh, I never really got around to the part that you talking about technology reminded me of. Oh, yeah. What's that? Um, one of the skills is operate machine, and you replace the word machine with one of several categories of machine. Okay. And I had a list of machines that I was hoping could maybe cover, I was trying to find one word for this one thing at the end. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember what I had. I had land... Uh, land, sea, and air vehicles were three of them. Robots, computers, and the last one was miscellaneous, which specifies that it covers, uh, like, normal machines, like blenders, uh, treadmills, appliance. you know, a appliance. Yeah. Does a treadmill count as an appliance? Yeah, technically. I, I would say it does. I, uh, for the for the definition of it, yes, I would say that it does. What about or, what about construction or, machines? Well, that that'd be under a vehicle. But why? Not everybody who can drive a car can operate a crane. Because it requires a similar skill set. Yeah. It's just a more specialized. It's one. in the same way that like operate computer would give you coding knowledge, even though that doesn't exactly equate to operating the actual computer itself. I'm guessing that's what it would do, right? I could just make it so that the DC for operating more complex land vehicles is higher. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. Because I assume, like, a tank would be very, very difficult to operate. Eh, 
mean, aside from knowing how to start it up, you'd be surprised that they're actually really Okay, okay, a plane? Yes, there's, uh... But even then, there's gonna be difference between, like, how do you operate a biplane versus, please fly this A-10 Warthog. <laughs> Okay. There's actually a video. There, uh, yes. And, and what about more complicated machines like an irrigation system? Those are actually dead simple. Because mo most of the time, you just turn it on or turn it off. I mean, most of the work is done by setting it up, which is already done. Yeah. They make operating it simple by doing a ton of preparation. Okay, so I can replace miscellaneous with appliances and I should be good? Yeah. Should okay. Be fine, yeah. No reason to overcomplicate things. Where the fuck did my trap go? I can't see it in the ground. Oh, is it ready to capture? It should be, but is it... Where did the... It should be around this area. Try again walk back towards me. Cause maybe I'll hit it. But I can't see it. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Can you see it? No. No. It, it says it's down. Is it a net? There, there it, is. it is. Oh, it's okay. a net trap. That's why. Oh, I guess he's not ready? Oh, whatever. We'll just beat him up some more. It's fine. Ow. He's gotta be close. Yeah, I'm not seeing the skull icon yet. He's got some other icon flashing. I've caught him before, before the skull icon appears. I, like, I've got this kind of timing down. Like, if you're, it, like, I must have been, like, really close in HP, but I have caught them before the skull icon appears. Oh, he's, he's ready. See? Yeah. I, I, did you see how close I was? Yeah. Did you see how close I was? I've got fucking feeling, dude. It, it must have just, me being here probably threw your timing off. Yeah, yeah. But that's how fucking close it is. That's no. See, that's the thing. That's the thing about Monster Hunter right there. About you learning as a player. Yeah. You know, like you just get an idea of when certain things are going to be, and it's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's again within a few seconds accurate. Yeah. <laughs> like literally within five seconds of him breaking out of the trap, he was limping away. Right. Yeah. I was pretty fucking close. Okay, you, uh, you ready, buddy? You should be tracked. Yeah, he's already tracked. We're good. That was easy. Yep. So that should give me that my high rank Puke Puke uh, hunt, which I'm guessing you'll want to do with me, I'm guessing. Because it's, it's going to be in the arena. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, ha I'll have to uh, go get the quest for it real quick. Well, you should get it for doing this. Because you'll have a captured Puke Puke in your role, too. We, yeah, so, I, I just think I have... Don't you have to go talk to someone in the town? I, I don't believe so. Because uh, the, the Hunter Rank one should just... you know, Sorry, the Arena one should just appear. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe you do. We'll see. All that high rank Puke stuff. I sold all of my armor, by the way, that was low rank. Cause What's the point of having it? Yeah. Well, the only reason you ever want to have it is in case they have an event quest that's low rank that you might want to like make it a little harder, but that's not the only thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I would suggest selling them all anyway, because you could remake them again in a few seconds. So Yeah, and then I can just make the high rank versions. Why not? Yeah. It's just objectively better. Well, what, outside of the whole diesel punk kind of setting you want to see... Is there anything like story-wise you want to see or whatever? Like I told him before, after we worked out what I wanted to see, I basically gave him examples of my favorite moments throughout the series, and we kind of determined that I like seeing uh, humans be humans. Yeah. You know? I I'd like there to be, honestly, some kind of like horror elements. Okay. Because it, it'd, be, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I suppose so. Yeah. I mean, so I, I want some, and that's not a mystery element, but I definitely want something science, fa science, uh, not science fictional, but like, uh, I've always liked those kind of things about like going and seeing, oh, can we be part of like a mystery group that goes and investigates things? That'd be kind of cool. Like investigators. Yeah, we'll get a nice fan, oh. paint it green and blue. I've, <laughs> I've got a working idea for um, a bigger campaign, not a huge campaign like yeah. the, the demon okay. cards or anything. But a bigger campaign, 
um, that I've been working on for a little bit since I get my flash of inspiration for it. Um, but it's not going to have anything to do with some of the alpha adventures that we've run, just to test it. Uh, quest is up, Tyler. Mm. Yeah, you're right, I just got it. Oh, wait, why don't I have it? Why don't you? Do, I don't. Do right. I need to, like, set up the quest myself first and then get it? Maybe that's what I have to do. Level 19. Uh, can we just do that one more time from my end? Yeah. Power okay. 2, speed 2, yeah, I'm gonna HP say, we're gonna 14, monster from my MP6. And I believe, yep, I just learned the last spell in the game. Hurt more. Hurt more. Hurt more. <laughs> which, I will, more. which I will never cast. Why? Because Tyler explained to me a while ago that there are two different classes in this game. Magical and physical. That are determined depending on what you name yourself. Yeah. And the name that I gave myself made me physical. So my magic isn't very strong. It's not as strong as it could be. It it does not mean that you have weak magic. It's just not as strong as it could be. I would suggest seeing seeing how powerful it is just to see what you can do with it. But yeah, just yeah, I would suggest trying. Well, even at the beginning of the game, regular hurt barely did a thing to enemies. Why did well, it you... say I left the quest? Uh, I'm oh god, I must have went without you. Sorry. But it's um, not, it's, I'm confused, because it didn't used to do that. Why is it starting to do that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let me, uh... I can still join. Yeah, just join me. That's fine. This works. So why... I, I don't know why it's doing that now. Uh... Never... What's up? Uh... Is it powerful? Hurt more does 61 damage and only costs 5 MP. Okay, yeah, now can you beat the game? Go beat the game. You can... <laughs> Go beat the game. No, I want to gain one more level before I do. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I just looked at, at... I'm looking at subgenres, right? Yeah. Let's see. Fantasy has... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19, right? Yeah. Sci-fi has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Good lord. Did you know that Sonic was the leading uh, balloon in the Macy's Day Parade two times, like two times? It's pretty crazy. Yeah. That is a little weird. Yeah, why Sonic? <laughs> he got there first. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Sonic is also one of the most notorious balloons for having problems during the races. It was actually popped three separate times. Really? Yeah. Just the children horrified as Sonic slowly deflates. <laughs> also, there was a special... Uh, for some reason, Sonic 3 and Knuckles was first playable in Punks... What do they call it? Punks... Punks... What's it? Ah, fuck. It's a place in the U.S. Punksnally, Pennsylvania. Is that what it's called? Punksnally... Punk Punksatani. Punksatani, yes. Punksatani. Like... Uh, where the groundhog thing... Yeah, yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. What? There was a, they had a special. They had a special release for it on something called Hedgehog Day, and it was the first place in the world you could play the game. <laughs> well, it makes I, sense. Yeah. <laughs> I. Sega. Sega, <laughs> why? Why has nobody done any ground? Well, wait. No, that's a groundhog. Hedgehog Day. There must be some separate hedgehog. Hedgehog Day. There must be. All I know is that it like it helped tourism in the area like considerably. <laughs> also, it would seem that heal more literally just heals me to full. It could just be that it's healing me by a fuck ton, but it always heals me to full. I think you've been underestimating what your magic can do. 
Well, it's always good to go back and check. Well, the last time I played this game, I only got to level 17. Yeah, so you didn't even have access to that. Yeah, I've never actually cast Hurt more before. Oh my god, is the game actually reasonable if you just play it at level 18? <laughs> you learn it at 19. 19, sorry. So why not just go to max, right? Yeah, max is 30, but there's no reason to go that high. Oh, I thought max was 20. No, no. 20 is the last level you, you learn anything. Like it's, it's where you stop learning skills. Just, 30 is the max level. Just 20 is the last level that only requires 3,000 experience. Yeah. And it's the most recommended level for fighting the final boss. So there is enough leeway there if you just want to like get super powerful and crush the final boss. Because again, the Dragon Lord is rather simple compared to the rest of the bosses in the series. <laughs> Question. What's up? If you were going to give the Shinra MPs a class, what would they be, do you think? Rangers. Ah, uh, just basic rangers. Leather, armor, guns, yeah. They also do have batons. And they use grenades. Rangers can use freaking melee weapons too. Eh. <laughs> Although I did make a sample guard enemy, which you can apply any race to. But I don't have any guns made yet, so they just use uh, swords and bows. I also made Goblin, Goblin Guard, Garland, just for practice, practice boss, and a wolf. PF is going to be nice once it's actually like, ready for us to roll. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everything good, Tyler? Everything's fine. Zora Magdros, that's what the fucker's name is. <laughs> Took me that long. But yeah, one issue with its weapons, even though it's like the first thing you can have blast on, it also has negative 15% affinity. Yeah, which so sucks. it occasionally just does like three damage. Well, I mean, um, I mean, I don't do very high damage with mine either, but, I mean, the blast, no, but, because my blast is about 150, but my yeah, basic yeah. weapon attacks do about 20. And that's what mine is supposed to do, but when affinity activates, it's almost always negative affinity. Yeah, and you also can't get it to white sharpness, so you don't get the natural plus 10% affinity bonus for that. Uh, is he limpy yet? I don't think so. He's close, though. I haven't been attacking as feverishly, so it's going to take a little bit longer. The good thing about Sword and Shield is, like, you can literally constantly keep up damage. Because, like, nothing stops you from being close and just attacking and attacking. Uh -oh. I almost started my combo, which could have been bad. I don't think he's... He's not really close to dying. He's just limping. It's fine. Yeah. Like, he, uh, a combo wouldn't have killed him. Yeah, thankfully he was crawling out of the way too, so. Most creatures of high rank have around uh, 5,000 to 6,000 HP. <sighs> that's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're not much. I forget, I don't know how much it does in the arena, but I do remember that the Dragonator in the Zora fight does 3,000 damage. Yeah, well, so... Zora, Zora uh, uh, has like 20,000. Yeah. But, um... The highest one, as you can imagine, is some of the tempered elder dragons. Um, I think Arch like crazy bastards. Yeah, like Arc Tempered Kyrian, I think has like twenty five thousand. Oh, holy! Like no, wonder yeah, you're pretty pretty no wonder you're having trouble farming Kyrian. Uh, well, standard Kyrian only has about seven thousand, so that's not terrible. Yeah, it could be worse. 
Oh, uh, apparently you need 4,000 to go from 19 to 20. Okay. So that's when it stops going up? Oh, that's when it starts going up? Okay. Like I said, it could have been off, so, yeah. I still intend to reach 20. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. It makes more sense for it to stop at 19 anyway, since it's the last level you learned something. So that makes sense. Okay, is this going to give me a Pukei Pukei to fight? Or do I have to do something else? We will find out. It did not. So I don't know how to get those to appear. Because... Okay, this is what? This is six star. Six star optional quests. Special arena, HR, Pukei, Pukei. How do I unlock that? And yeah, you are right. Just completing the high rank stuff is giving me a pretty good chunk to my... Uh... Yeah. I didn't know that because I figured that out after a little while, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um. Especially when you equip it with These quests appear once a player captures their first monster of a given species and it's of high enough hunter rank. Um. I just did that. I mean, so... if you complete it with me, that should give you completion, right? But it's not even on my list of quests. Yeah, that's the weird thing. So, because all I have is H HR Bareth, HR Toby Kadachi, and HR Rob 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 uh, Rob, 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 Rob Wait, how do you say it? Robadon. Is, Rob, is it Radobon? Radobon. Radobon. That's it. Radobon. Jeez. Unless this, maybe the wiki's just fucked up. Maybe it's in the wrong place. That might be it. It might be just be in the wrong place. Maybe it's a four star. No, no it, my four star is complete. Because it's it's uh, there for me. It's there for you. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to talk to somebody? Oh, maybe I have to go and do something at the uh, the research place or whatever. Maybe. Let me check. Hold on. Because for yeah. me, it's at the bottom of my uncompleted list in uh six star because i need to finish these hr quests these hr arena quests they're one of the only things that's keeping me from having the complete fifth stuff or whatever uh oh there is someone here oh is that just the tail rider safari i think it is oh no no it's not So anyway, yeah, you know how I'm using um, a facing system in Penultimate Fiction? Yes. Yes. Where at the end of your turn you decide which direction you're facing? Yes. Well, of course there was a foreseeable problem with that. If you're in a wide open space and you're just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one other enemy, the two of you are just going to be dancing around each other. You end your turn facing the enemy... Then they'll walk behind you and attack you from behind. Then you'll walk behind them and attack them from behind, etc. Right. <clears throat> so, I came up with a very interesting solution to that problem. I've implemented a new type of action called free facing. Where, that sounds cool. Where once between each of your turns, if an enemy that you can see enters an area that you can't see, you can choose to turn to face them. Dude, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. That's, no, that, no, that I love it. That solves the entire issue. No, I love it because it doesn't only solve the issue. 
it opens up a lot of strategic possibilities. Yes, it because is, you'll be yeah. turning your back to other enemies. Right, and because you can only do it once. That's absolutely fucking phenomenal, and the best way you could have handled that, honestly. I thought so too. Yeah. I like it. That's fucking good. Okay, I got a new quest for uh, capturing a, a, a Toby Kadashi, so that's something. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I guess we can do that way too. So, uh, do you want to do that first, or are we doing the hunt first for you? Oh, uh, we'll do your thing first, because then. At least then I can see if I have them all completed or not, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we're just—it's it, just the quest to hunt it, but you're gonna capture it. You know, this is a, this is a quest to capture. Oh, okay. This is a quest to capture. So. Okay. Yeah, you'll have uh, you'll have a trap given to you in the beginning. Don't forget. So. Because I know you forget to take those sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Register bounties. Oh, and this is perfect. I have a th I have a bounty to capture a brute wyvern. All right. That's convenient as shit. Where is it at? Is it in the forest? Yeah. Okay. I also have a bounty for there, so I'll do that. Uh, another thing is that uh, you have to look at this weapon I have on me, though. Because I think you'll be a big fan of the way it looks. The one you've been using? Yes. So far I have been. I like the glow. Yeah. But no, just getting a close look at it, you know? Yeah. I'll make it's sure intricacies. Yeah. No. Okay, I'm going in. You can join in. So, okay. head in now. Because so. that's easier than just whatever. Whatever, other way. If uh, th there's a question of whether or not it will actually let me, now that I think about it. Uh, no, it's a it's a low it's a it's like a, it's like a six star quest. It's fine. Oh uh, yeah, it is okay. Yeah, it is fine. And you'll get uh, points towards finding the uh, the yep. pink dude. And high rank Toby Kadachi parts. There's a there's also a mod that exists for the Monster Hunter on PC now Yeah. that lets you have um, whatever armor you want to wear whenever you want, and it doesn't affect your stats. Oh, that's so nice. And it works online. Oh! Yeah, so you, you can even show people. But yeah, you can wear whatever you want without affecting your stats. Um, and it hasn't been shut down by uh, you know, Capcom, so... Because it doesn't affect anything. You think, right, yeah. It's, it's, not, I don't know. it's not like in 14 where there's PvP, so knowing what your opponent is actually wearing is important. Right. It's all PvE, it doesn't matter. It's just strange, because it's like... Why you know, isn't that just built into the game? Right, yeah. I do like your prize for what you get for completing every optional quest, though. Because it's, it's something that a lot of people don't even know exists. Um, the rainbow die. Oh, really? Do you know what that is? No. The rainbow die is a die that changes through every color spectrum. Like, it changes through every color. So you'll just be, like, glowing different colors. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty slick. Gonna want, I'm gonna want that. Yeah. Um, so that reminds me, I saw the most amazing fucking thing. I was looking for... I was looking on Amazon to find all clads uh, chrome airbrush paint because I'm going to need that for my Vash model. Yeah. And I found something else while looking for it that I was like, I have no idea what this is. It was called like something something prismatic chrome. Okay. What okay. is that? So I look up a video of someone applying it. Do you know what it is? What is it? It's a, it's a, it's like a clear chromish overlay that when you put it onto a model, it makes it silver, but it doesn't make it shine like chrome. Whenever light cap like catches it, it makes a rainbow pattern on the surface. That's it, cool. it scatters it like a prism, prismatic chrome, nice. which looks ridiculous. Like it's. You look at it, you can't quite make sense of what you're seeing because it's not an effect that's like on anything else ever.
So I definitely want to mess with that one day, but like, I have no idea what the hell I'd even paint. <laughs> like, that crazy color. <laughs> Everything. I painted a chicken wing. <laughs> it now shines with the rainbow. <laughs> oh, did you see Trix brought back their old shapes? I didn't know they had new shapes. Um, Trix, like, they switched to stupid puff shapes, so everything was just, like, round. But back in the day, um, they were shaped like the actual fruits that they represented. I, I Yeah, I remember that. I didn't know they switched to puffs. That's yeah, that good was... that they switched back, because that's kind yeah. of cool. Yeah, but they used puffs for, like, ten years. Yeah. So it's weird they switch back. I guess maybe people were asking for it. As far as cereal conventions, all I want is for um them to go back to the cop and robber mascots for Cookie Crisp. <laughs> well, mascots aren't really a thing for cereal anymore. Not really. Yeah, no one really gives a shit. Well, because they aren't necessary. The reason yeah. why mascots were important back in the day is because they caught your eye during commercial breaks. And now that commercials aren't really a thing on like to anyone's like on anyone's radar you know more than just being an, an annoyance yeah no one watches tv anymore people watch youtube though and youtube and twitch are for ads they could have serial Ad ads yes but Ad people, but, but ads don't have a positive view anymore yeah like, like every like ads 90 percent of the ads i watch my first thought is well i'm never gonna get this that, that's just... what i mean um, yeah, because ads, because ads used to be fun. But sponsors. Really fun anymore. What about sponsors? Like, that's uh, different from. A... Well, maybe, but cereal companies could always sponsor YouTubers. They don't, though. At least not the ones that we're watching. They might be. I don't know. Maybe they're sponsoring Ryan's toy review or something. <laughs> But now with how health conscious, like another, de like the decline of like cereal mascots is partially related to everyone being so much more health conscious about massively sugary cereals like that. And advertisers don't want to risk trying to seem like they're peddling unhealthy lifestyles to children. Because mm -hmm. that gets, you know, those shitty million mom groups to like start boycotting stuff okay heal more doesn't heal me to four just heals a ton like 85 what's the, what, what's the actual value equivalent to a ton like not it's, in weight but like i know a number there's a there's associated with it as well like, two two thousand like, something like that uh, two thousand pounds I mean, yeah i mean there are two thousand pounds well yeah but like I remember t I remember find, like, hearing about like there's like associations for like a lot of words that we use, like depending on like like a shitload for example has like a numerical value associated with it. I think you're thinking of buttload. Buttload, okay. Right. okay. Which is an actual measurement. I, th it's something to do with barrels of wine. Okay. All right. Like a butt of wine is, uh, I think it's like three barrels or something. 10 barrels i forget but yeah that 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 is an association pandemic why does it have to alert me when investigations are added yeah, like, couldn't you just say after the quest? I'm also a bit concerned as to why it has to tell, like, I, I always thought, like, it took longer for, um, uh, what the fuck is it called? Um, what oh, I Christ. Yeah, I see, they're there. Uh, excuse me, I, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, basil geese and arathios came by. Rathalos. Ow. 
Yeah, I got against this fighting type of kid, Hachi. I got fucked up, man. Holy shit. Man, I scared away them both, so. Nah. I'm so glad they made poo bombs work immediately. Yeah. Because they used to take, like, multiple ones per level of creature, and now it's just like you hit it once, it goes away regardless. Yeah, it's just awesome. like, ew. <laughs> you, you literally ew them away. Yeah. It's just more in the whole thing with the game being built to be more quicky, responsive and, you know, snappy. But yeah, what, what was it you were trying to tell me before that? Uh, what was it? Oh, um, the fucking final boss thing. I always forget his name. Xenojiva. Um, Xenojiva. I always thought it took a long time for Xenojiva to respawn, but... Uh, it, it's actually dependent just on how many quests you finish. So, like, you do, like, three quests and it just comes back. And it's just really weird to, like, see it come back so quickly. It, it kind of does the Zora Magoros thing where it just has a chance to come back after, like, three or four. Yeah. Ah. And it's what's strange is, like, you can actually get in a loop where it, like, will always be there. That's funny. Yeah. So, like, you can finish the quest and come back out and be like, oh, uh, Xenojiva came back. And you're just, like, still cleaning your weapons off. Like, I literally just killed the fucker. How? <laughs> That's why I don't much care for the idea of Xenojiva, like, story-wise. Because, like, that thing is just going to be perpetually reborn forever. And it's all our fault. <laughs> it's all our fault. That was convenient. I think we both exploded it again. Here we go. Keep an eye out for the capture. Should be getting close. I just did like a thousand damage to it. It's not limping yet, though. Should we? I wish we could call this thing like Toby Fox. Can we call it Toby Fox? Yes. <laughs> Still has it going, PJ. About 1,300 more XP and I'll be done. It's okay. a miracle. And then you can go and fight the final boss. <laughs> Next week. Next week, yes. And then be done with the game. Why not Finally. just do it this week? Because I gotta fight the final boss twice, and it might take a while. Uh, okay. There's two endings to show. Do you work tomorrow? tomorrow? What? Do you work tomorrow? Yes. Uh, okay. I always work all day Saturdays and Sundays. You. I work from 2 to 10, so, yeah. How long have you worked there now, PJ? I started toward the end of... August? No. It's certainly been a pretty good while now. No, wait, wait. I know I was working there during my birthday, so I started at the end of July. Yeah. Oh, it feels like the pa it feels like from like July to now kind of went. Like it kind of didn't fully exist, don't it? <laughs> I kind of feel it's the same way to me. I still can't believe the amount of progress that's happened in the game this year. Like, you know, the fucking Uganda Knuckles shit was the beginning of this year, dude. Right? Yeah, like, that, it feels like that was ages well, ago. beginning of last year. Yeah. It's 2019 now, Jesus. Uh, yeah, beginning of last year was fucking Uganda Knuckles. And you touch my spaghetti. Yeah. That <laughs> one completely died. Uganda Knuckles has some longevity still. I love the one of the names I saw for that was awesome. It was the scene at the end of uh, Star Wars three, with uh, Anakin like laying in the lava or whatever. Yeah. And they replaced his head with the Uganda Knuckles, and it just it's just like, way. And then it has a picture of the uh, Emperor, and it's like, oh my God, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
<laughs> oh, that reminds me of this great joke I saw the other day. Mm -hmm. Kaze. Yeah. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? I, I know the punchline, but I can't fully think of it. Like, one one's really he heavy, the other's a little lighter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Toby Hidachi yeah. fell asleep while I was attacking it. Oh. Um, well, if it's asleep, we can capture it. So, yeah, capture it. Did you remember to grab the trap? I assume not. No, I did. What? Come on. It wasn't ready. Well, we're close. Just tired, I guess. Normally, if they're asleep, they're ready. Whatever. We'll get it. Now here comes Rathalos again. Alright, 700 to go. Is Beowgee's here too? Oh god. What the hell? Why are they all here? Go away. We don't want you here. Why are they both here? Why is your thing be gone, thought? <laughs> that's what it is, when I made it. Is that just what happens when you throw a dung bomb? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you just now noticed that? I talked about that all the time. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what you meant. Like, I only just, I looked at the screen and said, Be gone, thought! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just like when I when I mount something it says stabby stabby stabby. Yeah. Stabby stabby stabby. Or when someone else mounts something it says, Hey, I wanna turn. Okay. And when I get healed it says, uh Wow, wonderful life giving health. You're a nerd. <laughs> oh get, hi Basil when, Keys. I do not want to fuck with you. Goodbye. When I get stunned it says, uh um I'm stunned, kick me. Toby is nowhere near this fucker, so I'm just, uh... Stop limping, like, just because you heard it scream. Just go. I don't know what's up with this Toby Kodachi not wanting to be caught. Don't you mean Toby Fox? Toby Fox. Toby Fox. It is a fox. Foxes are hollow on the inside. They pretty much have to be, considering the, what they can take in the furry world. <laughs> That's the ongoing joke with foxes. Foxes have internal pocket <laughs> dimensions. Yep. <laughs> the hidden cock dimension. That's basically what it's called, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright, he's limping. Yeah, I wasted my trap on it already. It's fine, I got two more. It's fine. This tiny little Jagrice is looking at me like it just wants to beat the shit out of me. I'm like, did you see what I was fighting? You're not gonna win. Nope. Yeah! I, I do love the sliding mechanics. I don't understand why sliding uses up stamina. You're not doing anything. I guess because it's technically a sprint. It shouldn't count. No, it shouldn't. It's, no, it should. It should recover your stamina. Is what it should do. Because you're sitting. You're like, <laughs> I'm just going to sit down. <laughs> there. Sword. Short. Short. You know what else? Would be a great addition to Dragon Quest and remakes. What? What? 
like any kind of item, doesn't matter how hard it is to get, that reduces the likelihood of you getting put to sleep. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, Ellie, you get anything to Dragon Quest and value better. It's like, you know, we've added another 99 levels to the game. <laughs> Why 99 and not 69? 69, okay, whatever. Hey, nice. <laughs> it would be so stupid to do that, though. Like, they don't add any new monsters or enemies or anything. You can just get up to level, level 100. <laughs> well, that'd be... Yeah. What if, they, what if they did a 3D remake, but in, instead of it being like 3D models, you're like walking around a 3D world, and all the enemies are just 2D images that always turn to face you. <laughs> hey guys, do you know anything about Dragon Quest builders? Not a lot. Dragon Quest Builders takes place in the same world as Dragon Quest 1, but one in which Erdrick, uh, instead of defeating the Dragon Lord a long time ago or whatever he did, he joined him. So it's an alternate timeline. Yep. And just to say, Builders is one of the best Dragon Quest games. It I, really is. I wanted to try it. I just never have money when I remember that I want to. I, I could see how it could annoy people, though, uh, because, for one, it doesn't have online, which is annoying, because it is like a building game, so you think it would have online. But the second thing is that it's kind of annoying how every chapter you reset all your progress, so you have to start over from scratch every single chapter, which is kind of lame for some people, but I like it, because it, it means like I can kind of like free focus on what I want to focus on. I did it. But yeah. Yay. Level 20. Let's see. Power increases by 5, speed by 2, HP by 7, MP by 12. And that's it. Level 20. Right. <sighs> Level 20, all the best gear, everything. Yep, you should be good then. Maybe. So I can go back we'll to the see. castle, save. Well, this makes me a little sad. Oh, let me buy one more herb. A couple of years ago, a company called Standard Manufacturing released a sort of teaser for a pistol they were coming out called the S333 Volley Fire. It was the pepper box that would fire two bullets at once and somehow didn't count as a machine gun, according to the ATF. Well, they finally released the production version, and instead of it being a pepper box, they turned it into a revolver. Oh. Which makes me a little sad, because pepper boxes look cool. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about, actually. Um, you know how the NES Zapper got changed for being gray to orange back in the day because of, like, real-world gun equivalencies? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you ever see what the Japanese Zapper looked like? No. It looks like a revolver. <laughs> like, it's just like a regular gun. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great, actually. Famicom Zapper. It's just...